Hey, I'm Abby Oliveira with Ballots for Bernie, Voting Rights Task Force, the California Election Integrity Coalition. I'm here with Kelly Mordecai at Siskiyou County and, you know, doing a post-conference uh, final thoughts and we didn't get to hear enough from Kelly. And so I said, hey, come hang out with me for a bit. Let's find out more because there's people in your area that want more information about what you do. I definitely don't get it, so let's uh, get some knowledge here from Kelly. Kelly. Hello. So tell me, what do you do? What do I do? Yeah. Um, well, after conventions like this, I kind of run out of beer. But, okay. <laughs> The fun part. The fun part. All right. What led you here? What led me here? Well, obviously, I would like an honest election. Yeah. By the way, I'm a libertarian, but I do want the re I do want the will of the California voters respected. Yeah. So the election is kind of nice. Yeah. No, this election cycle. So, yeah, an honest election would be like one of the most wonderful uh, Christmas, but Santa Claus premium package of, hey, honest election, thank you very much. Well, at least I can live with whoever would like to president. Okay. Um, you know, I really wouldn't want to live with either of them. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway. Okay. What am I looking for? Um, what do you do? Oh. Watch the vote. We we're active and we flipped uh, the Iowa. We did get going. We got to get going? Oh. Okay. It's okay, no. Okay. It's the beer. <laughs> Not me, it was his beer. Yeah. Whatever that is. All right. So, all right. Watch the vote. We've been watching the vote. 2012, we flipped the true result in Iowa from the Romulan. I'm sorry, I did wrong. The Romulan to, to uh, Rick Santorum. And Rick Santorum was actually a while with this one. on the board really liked Rick Santorum. So honest elections is what we're about. Watch the vote. Yeah, you go to the website. And what am I about? I'm trying to get the selection can be redone it. Let's go to the specific technique. Um, well, what do you do? I know you talked to me earlier about prior to getting on here was about grand juries. What is a grand jury? Everyday people that have government oversight. Yeah. They oversight. You know, you may have oh, I mean, I Congress, the, it's all the about uh, uh, government oversight and reform Not committee. Well, we have that in every county. California is called the yeah. civil yeah. grand jury, yeah. and they can look yeah. at the equipment of the county, the processes of the county, the uh, procedures of the county, as well as corporations so operating. Well, that's right, the yeah. SNS yeah. stands for election stealing and schmucks. All right, elections. Um, Kelly Mordecai, everybody. Okay, Mordecai, yeah, okay, that's Jewish. I come from a long line of Jewish hog farmers. Yeah. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so election stealing and scum, right, right. I guess, yes, yes. Right. Anyway, so that's a corporation, the civil grand jury can investigate. You can go to the county website, find a complaint form, fill it out with some proof of what happened. And basically, yeah, no grand jury, go look at this mess. Yeah. L.A. was an absolute disaster. Yeah. San Diego, yeah. Yeah. many other counties. I don't want to say. It just takes a form. And the election director was shocked. Oh, okay, well, let me show you. A little bit of money or no money? Yeah, yeah. You don't want to bribe a grand jury. Uh, no, yeah. but I mean, do you have to pay for the form to submit it? No. Oh, oh. Free. okay. Yeah. So here's mine. I showed up to bribe the grand jury. Yeah. And, uh, so and I'll be able to communicate here. Pe petition to appeal. To appear. Oh, to appear. So I'm reading backwards. Siskiyou County Civil Grand Jury. That's what that is. Yes. Can we find this online? You can find the complaint form for your county. You can also find a report of uh, my years past. The grand jury did. For example, if I can dig this up quick enough, quickly. It's okay. Take your time. Yeah. People are probably still trying to log into our conversation. Okay. This is the actual uh, annual report uh, from Cisco County in 2010 with the grand jury just looked at, again, oversight of county government. Well, let's just go look at this page here, and it says that the grand jury showed up at... Um, does every county have something like this? According to state constitution, they're required to have. Oh, I don't even this. know where Contra Costa would even find something like this. I think you have that, but you can go in your county. Okay, here we go. 
Yeah. County clerk election. Yeah. Gonna do that thing there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So, really, the grand jury went to a precinct at seven forty-six. Sorry, six forty-five p.m. and investigated the operations of two um, precincts. The whole election process. Yeah. They have this power. They have their own subpoena power. How come you only pick two precincts? If I tell you what happened to me in 2010. Iowa, okay. Tried to is that all you have in Siskiyou County? Or credentials? Was there more precincts you could have? Credentials? No, Alpine does have two, uh, one and precinct. Like Siskiyou County has about over 40 precincts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we larger than some of the eastern states, like okay. Rhode Island and Delaware. We have 45,000 people, and we are very proud of our ninth. I bring the schools here. Yes. Ninth new stoplight in Siskiyou County. Okay. Off with this shit? Anyway, all right, I'm trying to be funny. Yeah, that's good. Humor is good because it's been a long day. Yeah. I just want people to understand uh, uh, why these two precincts were chosen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what they did. So basically, grand jury can look and again, I've appeared before the grand jury. You know, like talk to the clerk's office. Hey, what's going on here? I'm concerned about the election fraud. Posse there, my posse okay. Other people have like, submitted you know complaints to their county grand jury as well in other parts of the state. We're, we will have to wait and see what happens. Now, I want to do something, something for people to do. Okay, you can do a record request, of course, as well. I do that. And I found this contract of how the software. Oh, you can't see the software. You can, let me see what this looks like. I'll show them. It's, it's a record to request. You know, hey, I want to see this document here of the contract of Dominion, Dominion Counselor software. Dominion is the software that counts the votes. ESNS is a registration database. All right, so you can get this, you can look at it, and they'll tell you, okay, you can't look at our proprietary stuff. Even though you pay for it, you can't look at our stuff. Sure. Because it's a corporation? Yeah, that's part of it. The other thing is they're going to upgrade, just on this out, they're going to be upgrading to a new version. It's like, well, you've had already made a version, you get it right after millions of dollars. You can have version 5. You know, there's only one other profession that can mess up this bad. I mean, this kind of money. You know, it is. So, it's, 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 there is a profession that can mess up this bad. It's a good job. It's called the weatherman. This year has been that I have zero reason to be a Democrat. It was all about the people. How did the vote turn out today? Let's see. Okay. All right. Anyway. All right. Back to what I'm talking about. So, we did find in our online declaration that the Somebody was registered on election day, and the next day they were not, as they checked in. I think that they just killed it, like the millennials. This is primary, or still to primary, the primary, 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 primary. This is how they're doing it. Okay. So, Tuesday, registered. Wednesday, no. Thursday, no. Friday, no. And several days later, they finally registered. Almost double that. He didn't touch his registration. So, because it wasn't registered, it did not count. I'm asking people to do very important, very simple. Let your friends tell everybody, telegraph if you have to. Um, basically, people, when you go to vote in November, um, when you go to vote in November, the day before the election, check your registration. The day of the election, check your registration. Every day thereafter, because people are getting kicked off the registration, their vote, their vote, their vote is thrown out. We found this in the declarations, and so that's a very simple thing. Tell your friends, take your registration. Tell your friends, take your registration for many days. Every day. From the election, many days. Therefore, yeah. Can they? They should probably print out that they've been checking. Sc screenshots are very important. Okay. Yes, brilliant. Screenshot using smartphones. Yeah, yeah. So. Folks, that's how they did it in the primary. So they should be doing that now because, you know, the last year is coming up in November. No, I, I, they should be telling their friends to be ready on election day. And the sign over there, there our producer here, <laughs> ad hoc, says wrap it up. Okay. Okay, the beer is making my tongue. You no, know, um, maybe just some final thoughts here. My questions are, you know, you do a lot of great work, you know, this this is what's great about Ballots for Bernie. It brings different people from different parties together. We're not one side, you know. Yeah, Bernie brought us together, but Bernie also brought different parties together. Um, and um, I've met a lot of interesting people. Kelly is one of them. 
Yeah, you can tell, right? I, I like the beer and wine party myself. I mean, that's kind of okay. This is that. Yeah, but let's let's talk about uh, Kelly. You um, you're not you don't work alone, even though you probably feel that this work is really um, stressful. Um, but important that you just can't stop doing this. Um, how would you? What would you say to a volunteer that wants to help you out? What can they do? What are those things? Even if it's a small thing, what, what are those little things that they can do to help out? Well, I like local. Um, find somebody local that can kind of mentor you, but at least keep moving forward, keep learning, keep doing. Um, believe you can make it because of each other. Um, William Wilberforce was a British member of Parliament or an MP in the 1800s, and guess what? He ended the slave trade in England. He was connected with a number of people, but he was in a position where he could make a difference. You know, the movie Amazing Grace is very inspiring because one person can very well make a difference. Just keep moving forward, connecting, keep moving forward. One person can make a difference. Um, well, yeah, just, just keep doing. Zero minutes as a producer. We're almost okay. done, Paul Thomas. All right. Well, right now I'm getting concerned about uh, mm -hmm. committing the yeah. deadly sin. Which is well, you know, you're driving, so they can't keep, they can't leave without you. Oh, I know, but, but <laughs> do you know what the eight? There's seven deadly sins we're in the church today. But oh. do, do you know what the eighth yeah. deadly sin is? I don't. You don't have to re uh, educate me on that one too. The eighth deadly sin is hogging the microphone. Uh, no, no, <laughs> you didn't even get any much time to. Hey, well, I'll, let's just let's wrap up with this. Okay. How do we reach you? Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Facebook, Facebook will work. Uh, Kelly Z. Mordecai. Yeah. Okay. Facebook. Okay. Look yeah. for a book cover. It's a hidden for Can we get you to also join Bellas and Bernie if you're not already on there so people can reach you through that as well? I think I might be joined there. Okay, good. So, hey, you can find uh, Kelly on Bellas for Bernie. I think. That way sure. you know what his name spelling looks like. And I also spelled it for you on the description of this live stream. And, um,. That's where you can find them. Kelly is doing something very special that really not many people on Ballast for Bernie is doing or another. He's working with grand juries. And uh, I got a lot to learn to him, so I'm looking forward to chatting with him some more. So, Kelly, say goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Keep up the fight. Yeah. And don't forget to donate to uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Take Back the Vote. Bye, America. Thank <laughs> you.